Hello everyone, CDNet here with another short update from the Avalanche ecosystem. Well today actually not just Avalanche ecosystem because we're going to look at Covalent. Covalent is kind of like a data service for multiple blockchain including Avalanche. One thing before we get started, I noticed that the registration period for the sale is actually expired at the moment I'm recording this video. Um, so if you're not registered yet, I do apologize, maybe this video is less relevant for you, but it might still be interesting just to know what's coming up. If you are registered and maybe just, you know, don't know what to do yet, use this video as a short introduction, but if you want to invest, do also do your own research. Now, let's get into it. Like I said, Covalent is a little bit like a data service for blockchain. The Covalent API allows you to query data from any of currently, I think, seven blockchains, including Ethereum, Polkadot, Binance Smart Chain and of course Avalanche through one unified API and make it accessible. Now for those of you who don't really know what an API is, this is kind of my understanding. You know how in your home you have all kinds of electricity sockets? You know how to interact with the socket, right? You just plug in whatever, whichever plug you have. There is a regulated output which functions on whatever you put into it. You don't really need to know anything behind that socket. Well, the API is a little bit similar as in there's entire blockchain data complex architectures behind it. You don't need to know about that. You just need to know how to pull data through that API and all of it should work the same. And that's my understanding. I'm neither an electrical engineer nor a developer. So if I'm wrong, <laughs> I do apologize. Covalent will be its own blockchain with its native token CQT or Covalent Query Token. And the query token can be used for either governance or staking. But they're also hoping that Covalent becomes a market platform where developers who have built applications using Covalent's API will be able to sell their applications on the platform and get paid in CQT. Okay, so how does Covalent separate themselves or set themselves apart from, for example, the graph? Well, I'm going to rely a little bit on how they say they are distinct. First of all, they index the entire blockchain, which means every single interaction, every wallet, you name it, all of the data is there. Then of course, there is the multiple blockchain support. Now, I do think the graph also has multiple blockchain. There may be differences there or more or less. Most interesting to me is the no code support. Now, of course, especially early days, you're going to see a lot of developers interacting with this who maybe don't necessarily need the no code support. But as blockchain goes more and more mainstream, I can see this going a little bit in the way of Salesforce, which in itself is also just a you know visual layer over a database. This visual overlay makes it so that people who do not have a development background can interact with it. And there's a lot of value there because there is just not enough developers in the world, basically, right? Now, I don't normally look at the partners, but I do think in this case, it's quite interesting because I also see uh, Binance Labs. Now, as we know, things that have gone through the Binance launch pool recently have done really well. So that's not financial advice, but I do find it interesting to highlight. Now, normally I would look at a roadmap, but I couldn't find any, interestingly enough. And I think that's largely because the project is mostly done, right? It's largely functional. The only thing you could do is maybe integrate a couple more blockchains and I think very importantly, business development. So instead, let's take a brief look at some of their highlighted projects. One thing I notice immediately is Reef. I find that very interesting. Reef has integrated Covalent for analytics across various liquidity pools. There's also implementations of other wallets, a tax calculator tool, let's say you're a business that has to pay tax over the transactions and also an NFT dashboard. Now, finally, let's look at the token sale. Like I said, registration closed. Um, apologies again for that. Uh, I did not get this video out in time. I did not know it would be closed early. Now I'm registered for all three options just because registration is free when it's open. And what they've done with the options, in my opinion, is actually very interesting because a lot of projects that have launched recently have to get like multiple options, which start cheaper and then get more and more expensive, you know, and they launch over three different days or whatever. Now the theory behind this, I think is probably to reward your earliest investors, but you know, we've seen option one get sold out and then everybody moving to option two and then everybody moving to option three. So there's not much point in having it uh, cheaper per se. It's just that some people win slightly more tokens in the lottery or whatever. Now instead, Covalent switches it around. It's that's the most expensive option first and then gets continuously cheaper, which I find interesting. Basically, Covalent's asking you, how much do you want it? Do you dare to wait for like option two or three and then just miss out on option one? Risking that if you cannot get the cheapest option, 
you will have also missed out on the more expensive options. Now, of course, there's also differences in the amount of time a token is locked up. The, the most expensive option tradable immediately. The cheaper options take a little bit longer to unlock. You can find all this information on their website. I will put a couple of very useful links in the description. But that's it for now, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.